We have no way of mid, I'm pushing bottom. Mason XD Bastoy. Make sure you're ready. I think they may try to kill me here. I mean, if he's watching the stream, he's not gonna do it. Eat your eggs. Yeah, I don't have buyback, I guess. I can just do it. Row shop? Bounty. Well, it's definitely up. Oh, yeah. Do you have a jump? Go in the portal, guys. Go in the portal. That's our Rubik doing that. Love my fault. Yo, I have buyback, so like I don't want to push the wave. Kill it, bro. Yo, look at these lotuses. Bring, bring Jim close. Let's just hit this. Bring Jim close. I'm not really set up. I think on everyone. Toss coming back. Just get back. He's gonna punch in the base. What a rush. Set up soon. I'm gonna TP back. Get ready to recall me. Oh my god, I almost got a fucking Wind Waker. Nyx, Nyx. Oh my god, what a disaster. I don't even know what the hell we're dying to. What's like going on? Anyone? A memory. 
I'm investing you, Yong. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta target Nyx more. Just have to get him. It's like owning the fight too bad. That was like a decent. It wasn't that bad, I think. Oh. Uh. <sighs> I guess he was jump. I think it's like risky as hell. Just chill. That's my buyback, 33 seconds. Oh yeah, there's tier 5 items. Come with jump, come with jump. I'm a mob. What do I get? Stygian? Uh, Apex? Good. Pirate hat? I actually don't know. Big Stygian. Your shield if you have that. I feel like Stygian. Just some like fucking damage. That's <laughs> oh, terrible. Don't do that. I think just more damage is good here. Attack speed doesn't affect my ult, so. Roche is up, right? Roche is definitely up. He's, yeah, the, the hours are just being burned here, man. You want, does anyone want a refresher? Not really, I guess. Let's you go, want, guys. Let's do you go. want a refresher on Coddle or no? Like, it's hard, I can't really use it that well. Shaker should just take it. He has no items. Shout out. Yeah, I'm in there, bro. Look at that stitchy and go to work, baby. Look at that stitchy and go to work. And the video game, bro. Yeah, I got thrown. Can hex. Oh my god. Watch out for uh, Tusk kick. I think we get the kill here, so it's worth. Oh, we gotta get the kill here, though. I don't do damage to Ed. I'm gonna rage. You can mana me, by the way. Oh, after I rage, after I rage, you can mana me for extra, whatever. I gave yep. you a lot of shit. Hitting. I have an A on this. 
Can you mana me again? Get the dark, get the dark! Ah, easy jumpa! Oh, beautiful game, man. Oh, man. Swap commands, he says. Dude, these games are going on for so long. Holy shit. These games are like harder than my fucking like, ranked games. I mean, I, to be fair, I'm like kind of like making some mistakes playing that well, but they're still hard. I, I can't, uh, I can't fucking autopilot at all. All right, do it up again, boys. Oh, let's go run though. What do you want for Christmas? I want peace. I want peace and love for all mankind and womankind and the them they them kind. She's your kind too. All genders, gender fluid people should have a Merry Christmas as well. World peace for all transgenders. Let's go. <sighs> Peruvians also? Of course, man, Peruvians also. Of course, bro. Will this account get banned too? Apparently, I can make a new account. They don't care. So, yep, apparently, I'm in the clear. How oh, about Effie? Of course, Effie. Of course, Effie. I see Effie struggling on Twitter Twitter lately, uh, so hope she finds peace and clarity. When are you gonna find a girlfriend? When your mom comes over, bro. <laughs> when your mom comes over, bro. <laughs> Fucking your mom. <laughs> I don't know, do you guys think Lil Shart shard on that game? I feel like he was kind of sharting it up out there. Like, no no kizzy. I don't know, man. Nick was kind of shart mid-game. A little. It is independent bitches. That part. I just want the favor. So many people are canceling Q looking for you? What do you mean? How do you know? Oh, I got. Oh, I know what you're saying. Actually, I get what you're saying. That part. Can you get any cosmetics off your old account? Uh, I've never really tried. I mean, I don't know. This gets asked a lot, but I, I just don't really care about cosmetics, right? So it's like. I don't really care about getting my cosmetics onto this account, so I haven't I haven't even tried. <laughs> From my understanding, if it's not it's not a back ban, you should be able to trade. <coughs> Gosh. Yong says I'm cooked. Nice. Yong Dota smoking the reefer. How's your weight loss going? Well, I'm still fat, so don't think much changed. Have you played new Path of Exile League? Uh... Yeah, I did. And then I died like three times, so I just gave up on the game. Honestly, I think your viewers are like an IRL stream where you work out, to be honest. Alright. Oh, you like what you see, guys? Do you like what you see? Oh, do you like what you see? Oh yeah, do you like that, guys? Oh my goodness, another squat for daddy. Oh. 
Good form, sir. Thank you, sir. I've been working on getting my abductors open, or like inner thighs open. So I can squat lower. Your nuts is hanging? What can you do? Go ahead, back it up. All you need is to go ahead, back it up. Thank you for the content. You're a good bro. This guy's name is Dad Butts, so you know this guy's like mega gay and probably just like busted a nut to it. I got banned for smurfing, but I don't have any smurfs. Who can I appeal to? This is fucking crazy. Womp womp, brother. Womp womp. Womp womp. L, L big L. Big L for you, Smurferino. That's what you get for Smurfing. Am I right, boys? We hate Smurfs here. Wait. Little Nick just typed something. What did the Little Nick type? Drank. Do you Saberlight impression? I don't know. Doesn't he just like try to be funny all the time or something? I don't know. I don't know what his voice sounds like, really. Got some friends over, making fun of me for gaming a lot. Took them um, to see what I watch on Twitch and you were squatting. Very nice. I remember... I remember one time... Okay, so I've told this story on the stream before, but like the, fun, the funniest story with like gaming and like... I never really got made fun of for it, ever. Because I was like, where I lived, like no one really played video games. It was like very rare to find anyone who played like the games I played. I knew like two people who played WoW in my school. I mean, maybe more played that, but they never told me. I knew like two people, and like one guy played Han. I only knew one dude who played Han. Like literally just one guy. Um, so like, people didn't really get the games I played. Like everyone played Halo, of course, or but no one really played computer games. But one day I was playing WoW, and my friend called me up. My friend Charlie, and he's like, "Yo, man, I'm, I'm not making this up." He said, "Yo, man, I, I got some, I got some girls here. I got Kendra and Emily." I'm not making this up. They're like, yo, come out, come hang. And I was like, uh, hold on a second. So, for whatever reason, I thought that putting. So, I, I had a desk, right? In the, my computer. So, I put my phone in my desk drawer and I shoved the. I closed the door. And then, for whatever reason, I then asked my brother, who was next to me, I go, uh, should I go out tonight, man? Like, I, I don't know. Like, I'm playing WoW, and like, I'm kind of just like chilling playing WoW, and then he said, dude, just go out, like, just have fun, just go out, and I said, okay, and I was on, I think I was on Ventrilo with some guys from WoW, too, and I was like, guys, uh, I don't remember exactly, I think we were just like chilling, we weren't actually doing, any, doing anything in WoW, he's like, guys, I gotta go out, like, I, like, whatever, I don't really want to, but like, he's my friend, and like, I haven't gone out for a bit, but like, uh, maybe if it's like boring, he'll come back and play, like, that, like, so all that happened, right, and then I picked up the phone, that was in the drawer. This took like two minutes of talking to people. I was like, yeah, okay, let's go, I'll go out. And then when I went to go see him, like the girls were kind of like laughing at me. And I was like, what the hell, why are you like, what's going on? And he's like, bro, we heard the entire conversation on your phone. Like when you were talking to your brother and your friends on WoW. And uh, yeah, they uh, they just like made fun of me for a bit. What can you do? Yeah, basically they just called me a nerd. I learned a lesson though, to not leave my phone in a drawer thinking people can't hear the conversations I'm having. I thought the I thought the desk drawer was thick enough to block out sound, but apparently it wasn't. Yeah. 
when are you going to continue the last word podcast with PPD and Grant? That was like that was like a chill podcast, but I, me and Peter, like the thing Peter wanted to make it more structured and more like I don't know serious. Like he wanted to be like the real host, like very he wanted it to be like suit and tie, you know, formal uh, segments, like very structured. And I was kind of more like along the lines of like let's just have like a chill talk sesh, right? We can like. We can, like pick topics predetermined, I guess. Like that that's fine, that makes sense. But like having like segments and like like the way he talked was so formal. I just wanted it to be like friends talking, right? I just wanted it to be like three dudes just like chilling. Kicking kicking the shit, you know? But he wanted it to be different. And no neither not me nor Grant nor Peter really said like we're we had different ideas, right? But we never like said like, okay, well if you think it's done this way, I don't wanna participate. But you could definitely tell that like we had differing ideologies, and we just never decided to do it again. I mean, I would have been open to it. I think so. I think it was kind of on Peter that we didn't do it again, because you know he's the one who made it. He's the one who did it. So I don't know. He just stopped it, and I didn't really ask why because again we had differing ideas. So. Uh, was it just about Dota or what? I mean, honestly, I don't even remember. I think, I mean, I think it was about Dota, but I think we also just talked about random shit. But I think it was mainly about Dota. I mean, as it should be, right? I mean, like, how... I mean, the thing is, like, people don't really like podcasts and Dota for whatever reason. Podcasts are wildly popular in the real world, right? But for whatever reason, podcasts are just not... Dota just has ter... Dota just has no YouTube content. It really doesn't. People just don't want to hear you talk on YouTube, I feel. For whatever reason, people just aren't interested in it. I think it's because... I think it's because, like, podcasts are popular in North America, like, really popular in North America, and I think they're popular in Western Europe. But I'm not sure if podcasts are really popular in Southeast Asia and Eastern Europe and South America. And I feel like these regions are the regions that have the most viewers, right? Um, it's always been, even like five years ago, it was like this. I mean, eh, five years ago. I mean, and it just didn't have that big of a population, so, but it, it had some, but yeah. But they're on Russian? Yeah, yeah, that's the thing, right? Like, for instance, like, Team Spirit makes great pop, makes great content, right? However... It's in subtitles, right? They talk in Russian a lot, and it's in subtitles. And personally, like, I don't want to look at a podcast for, like, 30 minutes. So, I would like to li listen to it while I'm doing something else. But I can't listen to it, because they're, they're talking in Russian. So, it's like, it I, I can't consume the content. And I think it's maybe it's like that for other places in the world, I'm not sure. That's why, that's why like, highlight videos in Dota are so popular. Because... It's just people playing Dota, right? You don't have to understand any language. There's no language barrier. There's nothing like that. It's just like, you, you like the video game, you watch highlights of the video game. Let's see. You say Team Liquid is the best content. Team Liquid Dota YouTube. I know one of their videos is really popular, but... So, Team Liquid has, like, professionals. They're a professional team. They're doing professional content. And they have 20k subscribers. And let's see. 71k viewers for this one. Th these aren't even like the podcast though. Like this is a, this is like kind of like catered videos. These are like YouTube videos for sure. Not just like podcasts. Some of their videos do well though. But I, I was thinking more like podcasts. Like where's the, where's the no tail one? No tail podcast. Let's see. No, so it was 169k subscribers. Yeah, this is just him, like, vlogging and no one really cares. I mean, that's, that's kind of normal, I feel, unless, like, yeah. No Tales Big Daddy Moments Recap, only 3k viewers. Uh, OG, Seb, and No Tail, 13k viewers. Where's his, like, he had a show. Where is that show? I, that's why I well, Does anyone know what I'm talking about? What, what is it called? Monkey Business? Okay. Monkey Business Podcast. 
Uh, OG Esports. Uh, day three. Uh, uh, where's Monkey? This is at the major. Where? Where's the? Did they like stop doing it? My high? Was it back here? I think I saw it something. Monkey business show. Here it is. Okay. This is the Bali major. Where's like? It, there's a. There's something where they're not. Is it here? They're all live. Where's like the non-live ones? Here? Oh, here. Okay. So we have like a real podcast here, like a real legit podcast here. 10 months old, aged well, and has 34k viewers. These are like, OG has a big fan base, and these are some of the most popular players. Well, I don't know if Sub's that popular, but people like No-Tail, two-time TI winner, and he only has 34k viewers on his podcast. That's been around for 10 months. I don't know, that's just like, that's not like a lot, for like the, cre this is like the cream of the crop, man. This is like the, the number one people. In Dota, kind of. Like, this is, like, the top of the top. And they have, like, 34k viewers views on their, their YouTube video. Like, I mean, it's not nothing for sure, but you can't say it's, like, being consumed by a lot of people, you know? Dota has millions and millions and millions of people who play this game. And only 34k wanted to watch this podcast. They're not active pros though? Okay, point me to someone, point me to someone who does a podcast who's an active pro. Fly Fly did one, I think. Yeah, Suns fan has one. Okay, so Suns fan Cinderin. Suns Suns fan Cinderin podcast. These guys are these guys are current commentators. Very popular. Probably the popularest we say things, that's it. These guys are probably the most popular caster duo alongside like OD Pixel plus Vogged. Their viewer their videos get anywhere from fifteen to thirty K views, it looks like. This one, this one's popular though. But you see, like the engagement just isn't there. So I don't know, man. Like, Dota doesn't have a lot of viewers, bro. These are podcasts. These are things you can consume on the fly. These are like I have 4.6k viewers right now. My stream isn't something that you can consume on the fly. People usually sit down and watch this for hours at a time. Podcasts are easily consumed. You could be at the gym. You, you could be driving to work. You could, like, do this, do that. And, like, I don't know. Maybe maybe, maybe this is on Spotify and they have lots of uh, people listening to on Spotify or something or on the audio. But, I don't know. If something was on YouTube that I wanted to listen to, like, podcasts, I would just put it on YouTube. My, my car can play YouTube videos. I can hear the noise in YouTube videos. I, my phone can play YouTube videos. So I don't know. I wouldn't go to this website. I would just listen to it here. I love my mouse double clicking. I love it. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, podcast content just isn't there for Dota. You know what? You know what amazes me? You know what is popular though? Kind of like people like BSJ and Jenkins actually have pretty popular YouTubes. They like they do their shit well. As streamers and influencers, be open-minded to the gripes of our community. So, so I have a problem with this video. I actually went back and watched it, and I could like play it for you guys, and but it may take a bit. So I don't know if at the time, but and did that in a grievance that is being okay. So let, let's let's go here have in common it's quite simple it is all about them the so what he's saying is uh he's basically going to talk about main character syndrome here okay he's basically going to talk about it's all about you narcissism main character syndrome okay attack on you makes them feel better thus prioritizing their comfort over addressing the issues at hand the defensiveness changes the subject of their actions to be their intentions to the circumstances surrounding their infractions. And most importantly, it has nothing to do with the original grievance that is being addressed. No one wants to hear your excuses. We all have shit that we could use to validate being toxic and ruining other people's games. We care about how you plan to fix this. We care about being better moving forward. And how can we possibly trust that you won't just keep doing the same 
thing. Now, before I conclude this video, let's cycle back to the previous clip. This is only happening to him because he is Mason. This only happened to Quinn because he used to be toxic. These statements bring into question the idea of fairness in all of this. Is it fair that pro players and streamers are held to a higher standard? To answer this question, I want to first address the power dynamics of interacting with these big personalities. As a smaller streamer than Mason, when we're talking about view count, there is a power dynamic involved when I talk about him or when he talks about me. If I ever criticize Mason, I'm immediately met with accusations of jealousy, inadequacy, compensating, saltiness, that he's a more popular streamer than I am. This also goes for players in his games. Have you ever heard a streamer money shame the people that they're playing with as a basis to establish superiority? I have, because I've also regrettably done that myself. The fact that these statements are made and can be made establish the fact that there is an unequal playing field in these confrontations, and thus there is a power dynamic. Any one individual who speaks up against the streamer or the pro is effectively criticizing a higher up on the hierarchy of bigger business. Now, while the streamer is in no way their boss, they hold much more power in this situation. The only real power the average player has in a streamer's game is to report them, and that is what inevitably happens. Sadly, the Why main character this? syndrome and privilege of being a streamer makes it quite difficult to be aware of this dynamic. I'm going to express my empathy here to these players and these... So, he's been talking about main character syndrome the whole time, and then he follows it up with this. Streamers. But he did say, but I will follow... He, so he knows he's like kind of taking a different route, but it's like... Hopefully, you can try to as well. When you're constantly being criticized, when your play and behavior is underneath a microscope to the masses, everything you do and everything surrounding what you do is made about you. Imagine how difficult it is to put yourself in other shoes when many people around you are always making you the focal point of attention. By no means does this excuse the behavior of players or streamers such as myself, but it is simply meant to provide insight as to why this so common. So this is the problem with everything, right? So he goes on a three minute rant about main, main character syndrome and how it's like stupid, right? And how like streamers need to get over themselves. And then he says on the flip that like, well, it, it kind of is all about you. It kind of, you kind of are the center of attention in your games. And he, and he's right. And it, like, and that's the thing, like, th that's the thing, like, he's just, like, being a Redditor right now, because you have to understand, like, I don't want to be the center of attention in my game. I don't want to be the person people ping all the time when something bad happens because I'm Mason. I don't want that. In fact, I would like nothing more in a lot of my games for people to just not talk to me and to just play the video game, because I actually like Dota, and it's impossible for me to play the game uh like the way i want to like in some of my games right like you're seeing it right now when i play on ranked people are sniping me that's not me having an ego this is just this is just reality this is what's happening and i'm not like i'm not getting like mad about it or whatever like people can snipe me people can like do all this shit it is what it is it's just like it's just part of the consequence of streaming like if you're a streamer and you have some viewers people will inevitably like target you in one way or the other it may be positive it may be positive like people snipe you to try to have fun or it may be negative people people see you in their game and they get pissed oh mason's a fat american pig clown fucking american tard ameritard go back to us 130 ping trash 130 ping playing carry xdxd right like they know who i am they are going to say things and like like shit talk me because i'm me they would not say 130 american ping fat pig first pick carry retard if i wasn't me they may flame me. I can't. I can't say for certain that they wouldn't flame the other person, right? They may. They may do it. I. I, I don't know what goes on in people's heads, but I. I can say with like utmost certainty that people will flame me more for being me, or be nicer to me because I'm me. It's not just all negative. There are positives to it, of course, but this is just reality. I. I like. I'm not trying to be like the main character of my life or like the main character of my in my pubs like all the time. I'm not trying to be like the person who like affects Twitch meta or like affects other people outside of my stream. Like, like I don't know. Like he's just like he's not really like making any like real point here. This is my problem. The thing the thing I will agree with though, I don't. I think he says in the video. I didn't. I only watched like ten minutes of it. Um, is that as a streamer you have like. You are s sort of responsible for certain things, right? Because if I say, like, Effie is blank blank to 5,000 people, they're going to say it, maybe, to other people, and it's going to spread, right? But I also think, like, 
on the flip side, and this is something people don't talk about. And I'm not trying to like victim blame. Then again, I, I like don't I don't. I've, I don't think I've ever harassed Effie. I've like, I've never told, told anyone to harass Effie. I've never said this. I've never like, I've never condoned it ever. But like, when you, f like, if you flame a streamer and you like say like, this guy's like not funny, like, and you like unmod him everywhere and you like take offense to like a commonplace joke, which is completely her right. You have to understand that like, I can't control what you guys do. I can say like, don't do that. And I can, like, say this and that, but if you guys, like, go out there and, like, I, you shouldn't, I don't want you to, but if you guys go out there and, like, say these things like people, like, I, it's out of my control, bro. Like, you have to understand that, like, when you shit talk someone, when you shit talk someone or try to make them look bad, and, you like, you have fans, like, whether it's me, Gorksy, Quakefa, I don't know, celebrities, if you're into that stuff, like, their fans are going to get mad. Their fan, the viewers are going to get mad. Like, I, like, for you guys, like, you like watching me, some of you do. And so when you hear someone like BSJ or Effie say like, oh, this guy's a toxic fat retard, like some of you probably say base cigar, but some of you probably like, well, like BSJ, look at yourself. Like, you, you, who are you? Like Effie, you're taking offense to this like joke that's like harmless. Like, why are you getting so upset over it? Like you snowflake? Like I can understand these reactions. And I think that people like BSJ and like other people need to realize that if you like, if you attack other people, if you, um, I wouldn't say like flame them. It's more like if you just like denounce their behavior or their mannerisms or you just say negative things about them, you can't in all reality sit sit back and expect like no backlash. It's just not realistic, I feel. You know, people are opinionated. If you have an opinion, that's fine. You're allowed to share it. But you also have to understand that with your opinion comes some like weight and some consequence. You, you say things and like this is the thing that people don't get. They like say like, "Oh, Mason, you're toxic. Mason, you're toxic." And then they, they sit there like, "Mason's be, Mason's community is bullying me." I mean, bro, you're literally flaming me. Like, I, I don't know what you want. Like, you flame me. I mentioned on my stream because it's content and it's something for me to talk about. And then you're like, "What the fuck just happened?" Like, bro, you literally flamed me. What do you think's gonna happen? Hello? Like, I don't understand. Like, are you just like pretending to be clueless? Like, uh, it's just. It makes no sense, bro. Some of these people are just like head up their asses. Mainly happens. I don't know. Like if I flamed, if I flamed Gork C or whatever, and then I had people in my chat saying like Mason greater, like Mason greater than or Gork C greater than Mason or whatever, like Gork C would have won the game by now and this kind of stuff. Like, like if I just talk about Gork C and someone says like you're jealous, like it's part of the game. It's part. It's part of life, bro. I'm. A t I'm talking about a streamer who streamer and his fans and his viewers are like are either a not going to watch me and b if they do watch me and they generally like gork c they're gonna be like gork c would have won by now gork c this gork c that grubby 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 would have won by now grubby's better than you grubby higher rank than you bro i get shit all the time from you guys i get shit for all the time from other people lost 1k viewers during this rant i think i always have like 4.5k i mean i'm just not playing dota right people want to see me play dota but you know, people are people like grubby this, grubby that, grubby, 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 grubby. And it's fine, it's just, it just is what it is. If I didn't talk about grubby, grubby wouldn't be appearing in my stream. If I never mentioned grubby, grubby wouldn't appear in my stream. I talked about grubby. I say grubby this, grubby that. So people come in here and like try to like trick me, troll me, so maybe even some grubby fans are coming in here hate watching me. It's just part of it's just how it goes. I mean, I don't, I don't dislike Grubby, so I don't really care, but. Say something nice about them? That's the thing. I do say nice things about people. I say nice things. I won't say all the time. That is a fat lie. I've said multiple times that Gorksy, in my opinion, is the best Dota streamer. I don't know if that's true anymore. I think he's, like, getting a little too mad these days. He's not keeping it so, like, light. Um, but I used to think Gorksy was the best Dota 2 streamer. I've said this many times. You guys can crap all you want. I've said this many times. Um, I've said BSJ has the best educational content on YouTube multiple times, not just once. I've said this multiple times on my stream. Uh, that's something positive. I, I've, I have, uh, however, flamed both Gorksy and BSJ, right? Like, I've called Gorksy bad at Dota. I've called BSJ, like, bad and, like, whiny and stuff. You know, I dish it out. 
and then I also praise. And if they want to get mad about it, that's totally within their wheelhouse. That's totally within the right. If they want to throw it back, that's the best. Honestly, the best thing is this, right? They throw it back. I, li I like it, man. Gorksy, I mean, Gorksy, Gorksy's trying to throw it back these days, and I find it funny. I'm not mad. What, he went on the OG, OG, uh... But they were they were viewing some major or something, right? And he said like Mason's fat or something. I I just like smiled and chuckled to myself. Like he's like, oh, Mason's too fat. He says something about Mason being fat. And uh, I don't know. I just I just smile. I'm not mad about it. He's just, I'm throwing it I'm throwing it his way. He's throwing it back. This is how this is how banter works. It's just part like if you get offended by it, bro. Like I don't know. Some comments are not made in jest, however. But most of the comments I make are in jest. They're not really meant to like be super bad faith. The only time I make super bad faith comments is when someone like it's like shit talks me. It's not really a joke. They just straight up shit talk me. Um, then it then it's not really like that. Yeah. I mean, like when B like if you pause like for instance like BSJ like BSJ back in the game back in the gay. <laughs> Who knows? BSJ back in the day, like, paused on me. Like, I remember there was this inc incident where he played PL, and I played Wraith King or something, and he just didn't build the Fusel, and we won the game, and I like, I just, like, laughed about his build. I was like, ha ha ha, ha. his PL didn't, <laughs> didn't build the Fusel, and then moves, and, like, you know, stuff like that. Anyways, BSJ saw that, and he got really, really upset about it. And I felt bad, actually, because I didn't, I didn't think I was being that mean to him. He was like on the verge of tears almost, and I like I felt genuinely bad. Like, I literally felt so bad because I like when I when I joke about this stuff, I don't mean to like make people feel bad. At least like people like Bia Shane Gorsi, I don't mean to like make them feel bad about themselves. So I, f I felt bad. Um, I don't remember if I apologized or not in PMs. I feel like I did, but I, I honestly don't remember. Maybe I didn't. I don't just think I did. got Honestly. here. Are they smoking crack again at Valve Studios? Shut minutes. up! I'm blogging. Um. So yeah, uh, what, what was I blogging about? I lost track. You ruined my blog. I was literally blogging. Uh, yeah. So he, uh, so he, he started he, in the very next game. I played versus him, and he was just pausing on me. I don't remember if he all chatted me, but he was definitely he paused on me like twice. It was like I feel like pausing on someone, um, and unless you're like good friends with them, is like insanely BM, right? It's like very BM. I, f I find it really annoying. If it's, like, a good friend, uh, I don't mind. But if it's, like, someone I'm not, like, good friends with, I think it's, like, insanely annoying to do. Uh, yeah. So, it just kind of escalated from there. And then I would pause on him, right? So, if he's going to pause on me, I'm just going to pause on him. And I'm actually going to start getting, like, mad. Because, like, I find that shit, like, insanely annoying. So, uh, yeah, I think it just escalated from there. Was the pause deserved? All I did was make fun of his PL build. And I think it was, and I didn't say like he's like a garbage retard piece of shit or anything. I wasn't like mad. I was like laughs. Like I was just like defusal pia, no defusal pia, like that kind of stuff. You know, like it's like it's like a fucking joke, right? So, and then he just then he got like he got so mad and he started pausing and shit talking and I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, it kind of just escalated from there. Um. It, it was never, like, bad, like, super bad blood or whatever, but I think that was, like, the moment where, like, BSJ and, like, me, like, started to, like, really not get along. Quinn? Quinn beef? I mean, I just think that Quinn, like, when I was, like, playing with Quinn, I never enjoyed playing pubs with him because he always gave up in my games, and it felt really annoying to play with this guy who, like, had such little respect. This is the thing, okay? This is the thing. I understand if you're a pro player and you give up with randoms on your team, like, you have, like, a bunch of, like, rank 1000s, you can't trust a rank 1000. They're, they're not very good at the game. If you are if you have a bad lane, and you have four rank 1000s on your team, I kind of get where you're coming from on giving up on the game. Okay, I get it. If you have, like, a pro, or someone who's really high MR on your team that you know, and you give up on the game after five minutes because you had one death, I think it's insanely disrespectful. Like, I would, like, if I had Arteezy on my team, right, if I had, like, Arteezy, if I had, like, 
Lil Nick, and like after one death in my lane, I just like said go end and I gave up. I feel like it would be insanely disrespectful to Lil Nick or like Arteezy or like one of these people. I mean, I may be tilted. I'm not going to say I'm not going to be tilted if I have some bad death. But I'm not going to say GG go end at five minutes because of it. And the amount of times he pulled this shit on me was like, it made me so fucking mad. It was so annoying. And like, I, I just like couldn't take it. It's like, and like, I even PM'd him multiple times. I was like, see, like, Quinn, can you like, please stop doing this? Like, I like, I don't understand like what your problem is. Like, I like, I want to play the game. Like, I don't, I don't remember exactly, but it happened at least twice that I did this. I like PM'd him. I tried really calmly, like saying like, Quinn, come on, man. Like, can like, let's just play or like, can you please stop breaking your items? Like I tried like pleading with them and he just like, and he would say like, yeah, like my bad. Like I shouldn't be doing that, you know? So I was like, okay, well he, he seems to know, but like, will he change? And like, he just never changed. And he just like kept this pattern just like kept repeating for him. And I just found it like really disrespectful. Yeah, he doesn't care. I mean, he just doesn't care, right? He just doesn't care. Like, there's nothing I can do about it. He just doesn't care. And I can just have my opinion of him. I remember I was in a Discord. Um, I was in a Discord where there's, like, some Dota players. And Quinn was, like, breaking his items a lot, like, a year ago. Maybe two years ago before he got on GG. He was doing it all the time. Like, it was really frequent behavior. Um... And people in the Discord are like, he's just breaking his items versus rank 1000 Peruvians because he has four Peruvians on his team, based. And everyone's like, that's so based. And like, oh, holy based. And I'm just like, what are you guys like? Why are you guys like sucking this guy off? Like, he's such a retard. Like, it's not based at all. It's so annoying. Like, I find it insanely fucking annoying. So yeah, I don't know. I'm sure Quinn's a great guy in real life. I'm sure Quinn, I've talked to Quinn outside of Dota, you know, I mean, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say where, but, uh, I've talked to Quinn. He's a nice guy. He's a smart guy. He's a very smart guy. He, he's very articulate. He just is way too emotional in game and he gets too tilted. He doesn't respect other people's time. And you may say that's rich coming from you. And yeah, I do it too. Sometimes I like give up on games. I shouldn't give up on, but I don't know. I just feel like he did it a lot, and he did it when I was on his team, and it just got really annoying to me. That's all. The Sammy Boy incident? Bro, that, that shit was the most baffling. I can't, I feel like he made it up for Cloud or something. Bro, we were two racks down, 20k net worth down, they got Aegis, we were not gonna win the game. Like, we were... There was no shot we were going to win that game. And he just got so mad about it. Like, I don't even understand. I feel like he had to be acting for Cloud. Like, he had to be swaying for Cloud. There's no way. What? Uh, maybe see if I can find the clip. Because maybe the, I can give context to it. Sammy boy raging at Mason. The clip is gone. I think I deleted the old clip. It was like, it was like, yeah, it was from three years ago. I think it's on YouTube though, so. Okay, here it is. Uh, okay, so I think, can you see the main map? Let me move my camera, maybe. God, my mouse is double clicking all the time. It's so hard to move things. Uh, let's just move over here. Okay, so we had just. We were like losing the entire time. Sorry, you, you may not be able to see this because the bar's in the way, but we lost, we don't have mid racks and we don't have bottom racks. We lost We lost two racks. The game time is 33 minutes um, and we are all pretty poor. Um, the game is just incredibly, incredibly difficult. Uh, I think they have a better lineup than us as well. And we had just lost Roche as well. So these are all things to take into consideration. 33 minutes, down two racks, they have Roche, and they have, I, I think it's like a 20k net worth lead or something. Um, so yeah, that's the context of the situation. Let the men, boys. What is your fucking problem? What the game's world? over. You see, I'm not even mad. Like, I'm actually, like, not even mad. Like, I'm not breaking my items because I'm mad. I'm just breaking them because it's like, 
I, it was actually so weird, because sometimes I break my items because I'm mad. But this time, I just broke my items because I was like, ah, oh, the game's over. Oh, well. I was, whatever. Who cares? We're gonna fucking win, you fucking animal. What the fuck is wrong with you? This game's not even close to over. Hold on. The scoreboard. Let me, let me take a quick look at that again. So, 3 and 7. I'm not doing well. 2 and 6. 2 and 6. 7, 4. Level 22, level 21, level 22, and they have AA. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I can't click on the items, but they're they're out farming us by a lot too. What's the over? You just fucking feed the whole game. You fucking go bottom when we're about to. You have no idea how to play Dota. Fucking, right? I remember this game too. He actually played so bad. He like he jungled on like Razor for. This was like this was in a meta where like Razor didn't really jungle. He just like he just like kind of snowballed games, but he like. He kept just sitting in our own jungle farming. You break your fucking items. Like, what's wrong with you? What in the fucking world? This game was fucking fine. We're down two racks and they have Aegis. What in the world? It's three, seven, and one. You fucking ruin the game and then you break your fucking items. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You literally have no idea to play Dota. Shut the fuck up. You won mid, and then you just fucking farm our jungle forever. Yeah, I remember this it, 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 game. Response, bro. It actually has nothing to do with whether I can play Dota or not. You just shouldn't break your fucking items. I'm fucking carrying you, fucking moron. Look at your fucking score. Hey, nice troll last game, man. You owned. Cry, baby. Shut the fuck up. You're the one who's crying. You're fucking crying on the mic. Did he rage quit too? He left the game. Oh shit. That was a that was a classic. Left the game. Interesting. Oops, that's the wrong one. What the? I can't get that. There it goes. Breaking items is toxic, though. You're right. I could have AFK'd in the base. the 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 funny thing about like Dota and like how people react to situations. I don't know. What the fuck is going on? Uh, the funny thing about like Dota and people reacting to situations is like if I AFK'd in the base. If I just AFK'd and didn't say a word, if I just like got up off my computer, I don't think anyone would really care. But since I broke my items, it's like 30 times worse. No, you can play the game instead of breaking items like a little child. You guys, like, I'm not going to sit here and explain Dota to like 2Ks, okay? Like, I'm just not going to do it. Like, you're entitled to your opinion. I'm not going to ban you for having an opinion. But like, that game was over. Like, I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I promise you that game is over. I would I would not play a game for 33 minutes and then break my fucking items if I thought we had any chance of winning. It's a 33-minute game. Like, I would break my items at 5 minutes, 3 minutes, whatever. Like, at breaking my items at 33 minutes, like, I would never do that unless we knew the game was over. Go Riku? Yeah, maybe it was Riku. Let's play... Okay, well, I'm Rikuing. Oh my god. Dude, my mouse is double-clicking. Alright, US West. Maybe US West is cooking. Reek you. I don't know. That's crazy, bros. Play this while waiting. CC and Rage Ultimate Tilt video. None other than the cool, calm, and collected analyst on the sofa. Um, I'm not watching a 22 minute video of Quinn. I mean, other pros just give up and go AFK for like 50 20 minutes? I mean, that's the thing, like, it's, I think it's, like, fine to give up in a game that's over, bro. Like, I, I actually appreciate it when people do that. I have very rarely, mm, there, there are games you can win for sure, but, like, that wasn't one of them. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to, like, think of a scenario or, like, a specific game, but I can't think of one. I don't know, man. It's just like some games are just over, and it's like totally fine to like AFK. If it was like 33 to 15 and we had all of our racks, like I'd still play for sure. But Dota wants new players to play Dota. Ads behave war slash com score so that if you are trying to learn and do bad, you get reported and low see all your score, and it's impossible to gain. I love Valve. Thank God for this company. Yeah, I mean, the behavior score system is terrible. I have nothing positive to say about this, honestly. I have literally nothing positive to say about it. Um, oh, yeah, you have to understand, like, bro, when when I... Okay, if you look at that game, 
I, w I played Ursa, and I didn't go Battle Fury, because that was, like, kind of what you did back then, or that was something you could do. And Razor, back then, didn't have wave clear items. Um, and we had a Mars. We had no way to push out of our base. Back then, it was harder to push out of your base. We have no wave clear. Razor wasn't a wave clear here back then. Ursa wasn't. And, like, Mars, like, can do Spear Rebuke on a wave. That's it. And... Yeah, we just had, like, no wave shove, and, like, I, I promise you we were not going to win that game. I promise you. We could play it 99.7 thousand more times, we would not win that game. We would not win, I guarantee you, 7,000 times over. I'll play that, I would play that game 100 more times in that exact scenario, and I guarantee you every single time we'd lose. Every single time. There are games I've given up on. There are games I've given up on where we probably, where we maybe could have won. Let me rephrase that. We maybe could have won. That was not one of them. If someone pointed me to a game where I gave up and we could have won, I w I'll I'll say it. Like I'll be like, oh yeah, maybe we could have won that. Shouldn't have broke my items. That was not one of those games. Again, I wasn't mad when I broke my items. I I thought it was like funny. That's why you, you hear my voice, right? Like I was like I was like yeah, what can you do, guys? Game's over. Cause I thought it was a joke. Like I, I was like ah, we, like cause when I when I talk like that, I'm usually like pretty like okay with the state of the game or okay with what happened you know um i'm not like mad it's just, like you sometimes you just lose and you like tried and you just lost like maybe you sucked maybe your team sucked but like i don't know you you like kind of tried so you can't be too mad about it but i don't know if i was mad and i broke my arms i wouldn't have said a word i wouldn't have said a word or i would have said something like my team sucks right you know you guys know how i act right if i'm mad i like mumble or i say like my team's dog shit or i just don't say anything I rarely ever, like, smile and laugh, like, oh, well, what can you do? And if I do that, I'm usually in a fine mood. Which means I probably didn't break my items because I was mad or because whatever. But everyone's entitled to their own opinion. I have nothing to gain from, like, trying to lie about that, by the way, or, like, save face. It happened three fucking years ago, and everyone, like, I don't even, does anyone even like Sammy Boy? Like, so, who cares? Oh, that BSJ Diffusal Blade comment did not come off as banner, banter. Did you, did you someone see a clip about it? Hmm. I just fucking, dude, I mean, to be fair, I think, I think BSJ should make an analysis video of why his dumbass didn't go Diffusal Blade. I want to see on the next YouTube video, Oh, no, no, Diffusal Blade is bad on PO, guys! Dude, like, what a fucking moron. How did you not build Diffusal Blade on PO? Oh. That was funny! That's funny. Also... Also, I think it's because he did some, uh, I think the comment about the YouTube video is because he said something in the YouTube video about me. No, no, no. I actually remember this. It's because he said something, he pointed out my mistake in a YouTube video. Do you remember that? Yes, exactly. This guy gets it in the chat. I remember that Slark video. He made a video about my Slark. Yes, exactly. This is the thing. He made a video, he made a 12-minute video about my Slark calling it bad. He literally analyzed my Slark gameplay and made it a YouTube video calling it dog shit. If someone can find it, find it. But, like, you have to understand, like, I was... Even, even that, I feel like what I said was tame. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm like, doing my thing, too. I'm, like, smiling. I'm, like, eh. You know, I'm doing... This is... That's my persona, man. Like, my persona is, like, the, the, the fucking, like, douche nozzle, kind of. Like, the, yeah, I'm the best around town. Like, da 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 Right? Like, uh, yeah, I smoked... I smoked Arteezy. Arteezy, go back to... Go back to feed on Naga. Right? Like, that, that's, like, that's my shtick or whatever. Like, this is what I do. Like, you know, see, like, I don't know, this is what I do. I don't, like, mean, I don't, I don't, like, really, like, mean that they're, like, dog shit or whatever. What is this clip? What is this? See ya, BSJ, you little bitch. <laughs> Fuck you, BSJ, you fucking cunt, you stupid piece of shit. <laughs> Dude, when I go on Hinge, that's actually much so much funny. Love, much less a slammer. Dude, I actually love I actually love my old clips. They're like so funny. I don't know, I find this shit like hilarious.
See ya, BSJ, you little bitch. <laughs> Fuck you, BSJ, you fucking cunt, you stupid piece of shit. Nah, I'm just kidding. Much love, much love, much love to the slammer. Much love to the slammer indeed, boys. Oh, man, it's the good old days, bro. That's the good old days right there. Yeah, buddy, rolling like a big shot. The unwanted child to Valve. Thrown into the river, expected to die but instead raised by wolves and now coming back for them whoever in the ugly office in Valve Studios decided to banish him. Oh, uh, what can you do? Killed him. Oracle good save by Slark? Oh yeah, this is a classic one. This is a classic YouTube video. Yo, save me! Ult me! Ult me! Ult me! Ult me! He says ult the whole time in Oracle, by the way. It's, it's not off cooldown river, he just has it the whole time. Yo, save me! Ult me! Ult me! Ult me! Ult me! What? And then he just oh, nuked damn. me. He just nuked what? me instead of ulting me. <laughs> I don't know. Keep it real. Sam Brathon is up. Are you fucking animal? You have ult the whole time? Are you retarded? Are you retarded? Why are you laughing, you fucking retarded? You have ult the whole time! There, we actually just win the game! If you ult me, you stupid fucking animal! Why, why are you laughing, you <laughs> stupid fucking dog? Why the fuck are you laughing, you dumb toad? I'd fucking spit in your mouth, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> see, and that that's the thing, right? Like... You see how, you see how, like, this is the thing that people don't get, like, they, 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 like, don't, they, like, take everything at, like, face value. You see how I'm, like, get, like, mad or whatever, and I'm just, like, yelling at him, and then he starts laughing, and I start laughing, like, I'm not, like, really mad at him, bro. I'm not, like, not, like, genuinely fucking mad that he didn't press ult. It's just, like, it's just, like, animal, you have ult the whole time? Are you retarded? Are you retarded? Why are you laughing, you fucking retarded? You have ult the whole time? There, we actually... People take it out of context? Bro, you guys have to, like, there's no way you watch that clip and don't laugh. There's no way. Alright, BSJ beef video. Bro, this is, no, this isn't the Stark video. I only, I only want to watch the Stark video. <laughs> I don't know. 41 months. I can't believe I got gifted 41 times in a row. Can you tell Fatty Fuckface to shut the fuck up? Uh, shut the fuck up, Fatty Fuckface. Can't find the Slark video? Ah, well. Is that... Oh my god, is this happening? Are you jungling invoker? No reason to not have anybody in the offlane. Just try not to feed, do your best. Fucking invoker dude, he's fucking dead as shit. Pretty sure that's stream sniping. I'm not gonna sit here and watch eight minutes of this. Does it get to like a good part? He's gonna do it all he's gonna do it all game, don't bitch about it, thank you. Might as well take my time to report this guy again, right? Oh, I have two of them muted. <laughs> I remember Pink. Pink is like Pink is a massive loser. Might as well take my time to report. <laughs> oh my God, it's Nate Higgers. <laughs> he recon. Oh my God, it's Nate Higgers. <laughs> just... Oh my God, it's Nate Higgers. <laughs> He just says it. He said it again. He reconnected and named himself Nate Higgers. I'm gonna see if I have this guy muted. He might be the guy. Actually, no, I don't have him muted because he, I heard him talking. No, I didn't. Oh, no, I didn't hear. Oh, my. That's impressive. He's not even just taking my lane. He's actually following me. Hey, he's speeding up my jungle. Oh, he's actually blocking my jungle. Wow. This guy stepped it up. 
This guy's actually stepped it up. I miss old Dota, man. It looks so cool here. I don't know. This looks cool. I, I give this guy props about his ability to come up with ways to troll. I mean, he's just getting trolled or whatever. I don't know. Whatever. Oh. Or games with Lana tomorrow? I have no idea, bro. We'll see. It's just not a whole lot you can do about that, guys. Not a whole lot you can do about that. BSJ would have gone a rampage there. BSJ would have moved to Europe and gotten depression there. Oh! Okay, that's way too far, Mason. Chill, chill, chill. He's just making, oh, he's just making fun of your dose skills, bro. What can you do, man? Oh, what can you do? Meet up with Helena. Very nice, sir. Oh, man. Way too fucking base. I mean, that's that stuff is probably going too far. I mean, I it's like, I mean, he doesn't really have depression, but he did kind of like run away to Europe. But he like went there for a job. I mean, I'm just like making shit up, right? I'm just like being a retard. I mean, he's like, I mean, the, the like, if someone, if I have like bad blood with someone, I'll like randomly shit talk them. I mean, it's not really like bad blood. I can't say like I hate BSJ or anything. I don't know. I feel like he's like incredibly self righteous. Oh. What can you do? Hi Mason. I don't know what Sumail's saying, but I'm definitely your biggest Fuck fan. Thank you so much for helping me improve in Dota 2. Peace. No problem. I always appreciate the fans out there. Alright, time to close the porn. Go back here, do this. Oops. What rank am I here? Oh, I'm the PA. Rank 35. Oh my god. What happened, bro? I was literally the Gyat Rizzler back in the day in Dota. Rank 35. Dude, I remember I would just like float at rank 50 no matter what I did. Like, I could just like throw half my games and I would just like still be rank 50. Unlucky. Ah, well. The good old days, eh, boys? Oops. Oh, the Giat Rizzler boys, the Giat Rizzlers. Maybe add two more people. Honestly, I think I think we maybe just call it. Trust me, you'll get back to top 100, no joke. I mean, hopefully. Rank 742. What in the world? Young's climbing. Actually, this is your other account, I think. You have two accounts. Alright, rank, rank. Is it a hard day at work, dude? Holy shit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Only 12? Actually, that's not a whole lot. Queue it up in the morning, unranked at night. Ranked in the morning, ranked, unranked at night. You got farmed by EE? I don't think I get farmed by E. I mean, E. I mean, the thing about Eternal Envy is Eternal Envy would just always pick meta heroes. Eternal Envy never not played meta heroes. He's like a real Dota buff player. He he would always pick. He's like very similar to like how Mu used to play Dota. I mean, I don't know how Mu plays Dota anymore, but Mu used to only pick like the best heroes on Dota buff. That's the only thing he played. Yeah, I mean, like, he would he would literally just pick the best heroes every single game. If you if you do nothing but pick the best heroes every single game, and you're like pretty like decent at the game, Eternal Envy was like good. Like Eternal, like as much as people shit on Eternal Envy, he was like not a bad Dota player. I mean, was he like the best carry in the world? Uh, most certainly not, but he was not like bad at the game. I mean, he he like went to multiple TIs. He did okay at some lands. Like, he was. He was like relatively high MR for like a good amount of his career. Like he was never a bad player. He just got a lot of shit because of like his attitude and like uh, his mannerisms is all. He also did throw. He did throw games. But he, he was like pretty good at times. Mm. 
Nah, man, E isn't that good. I mean, yeah, he's not like he's not like Yatoro or whatever. I'm not trying to like paint a, paint a picture as Eternal Envy as Yatoro, but like he was definitely like good enough to be like a tier 1.5 carry or whatever. I mean, honestly, I think me and Envy are like the same tier of player. If I'm being like really honest with myself about like my pro career, I think I think I played well, but I don't think I was ever like. I never like deluded myself into thinking I was literally the best carry. There are moments that I played like really well though, but I would never consider myself like Ame or like Yatoro or whatever when I played pro. I was more like a role player when I played carry. I wasn't like the Terrorblade anti-mage player. Not that I can't play those heroes, but like I, I was never really put in a position to be that player. And I was like fine with that. I never wanted to be that player. I like being like semi carry, where I can like move and like be really active, and like everyone else is being active, or like one other person is farming. That's how I like to play the game. I don't want to play like Medusa and farm for 25 minutes and like have my team just suck my fucking nuts. I find that playstyle like really boring. Yeah, Duraccio. I mean, I'm basically like Duraccio. Like, he like runs around a lot, and it's like, I like that. That's how I like to play carry. Sadly. It doesn't show sometimes because I get like tilted and frustrated and I feel like if you have a bad lane it's kind of hard to play active honestly. That's why I love my yeah this is why I like playing with Yong because I feel like Yong understands this like Yong is like like usually we win our lane or we do good enough and like even if we don't do like super well if I'm just a hero that's active and he's a hero that's active like we can still do things on the map but if I if he plays like Phoenix and I play like Monkey King with no lane it's kind of hard because he like me and him can't play together then. He's like Phoenix. Like, he doesn't really do anything in the game. Wrap it up. Unlucky. Alright, Young. Let's let's try to queue for five minutes. Five minutes. If we don't find, we're done. Five minute queue. Just five minutes. But yeah, I, uh, I like playing active carry. It's more enjoyable for me. Man, I lost a lot of games today. I would say me and I would say me and Envy were like tier point. I think we're the same tier, and I think we're like tier 1.5 players. I think when I'm on my game and I'm like super focused and playing well, I'm a tier one player. But I think, um, I think like it's hard for me to have focus these days. And on DC, on EG, I actually had really good focus for whatever reason. I don't know why, but like on EG and pro games, I may have like owned owned, but like I did my role like very well. And I think I like read the map like insanely well, and I like read the game really well. I think on DC, I made like a lot of mistakes, honestly, like, if I'm being honest. Like, there were some tournaments and moments where I played, like, Kiev Major, I think, I think the Kiev Major, I played decent. I wouldn't say owned, but I played pretty, I'd give myself like a 7 out of 10 performance, maybe, maybe 6.5. Uh, Kiev Qualifier, I played out of my mind, like, god tier. I actually, that was the best I ever played in my entire life, I think. I'd give myself like a 9 out of 10, maybe 10 out of 10. I, I actually played perfect. I like, even even like Arteezy, like people would tell me like, you literally, like you're actually like so good. Like you're actually so insane. I played like, I played such good Dota. Let it go, man. Stop living the past. I mean, I'm just, I'm just talking, bro. I can't say I hang on to it. I don't really think about it often. Um, TI7, I played really poorly though. I think we as a team played poorly, but I was... I did not play well. I actually regret it a lot. I mean, I don't think I like didn't prepare correctly. I just think like I don't know. I had this like one really bad game that I'll like never forget. It was we it was me and Abed like kinda throwing. And it was like God and uh, what I said to my team afterward was like so bad too. Like I can't believe I said it. I don't know what was wrong with me. I played this game God was I liking? Let me see if I can find it. It was group stage. Let's see. Digital chaos. Click here for more detail. I think it was just like it was just some Chinese team that was like good. We were gonna win if I just like didn't fuck it up. 
went one and one with OG. Very nice. Is it IG? No. Am I making shit up? God, I. Oh yeah, it was newbie, wasn't it? Yep, here it is. Here's the game. I threw this game so hard. I mean, to be fair, our lineup was on a timer, but I threw this game. I like this game was so annoying. So I owned, right? I actually like I do play well. Like, I, but I threw, right? So I have the most kills on my team. I'm involved in 27 kills, more than like my fucking five player. When I say fucking, I don't mean like I'm not like trying to play and do boot. I'm involved in like the most kills in the game. I have like good damage. I have good farm. I like, I'm just playing very, really, act, right? look at these items, they're like such active items, right? I'm clearly like trying to win the game. And like, we have, look at our net worth lead here, guys. 20k net worth lead. And 14k, and we just lose the game. Like literally five minutes later, we lose the game. Look at this massive lead. 20k net worth lead into losing the game. Within 10 minutes. That is insane. We literally threw this game so hard. We were up two racks as well. We were, we took both side racks and then they just ended the game because we just fed. And anyways, so what happened was me and like Abed, I think dove like really badly, maybe twice or is it once? We did like one really bad dive. And anyways, I threw the game basically. And I like said like, Bulbo is mad. And like he said something, something. And he's like, why'd you do that? And I said something like, the game's meaningless. I don't really care. I said some like really shitty answer. And it wasn't even true because I think if we won that game, we actually would have played like a different opponent or something. Yeah, because we had six points and so did Cloud9. So we would have, they would have been seventh and we would have been sixth. But we ended up winning actually. So it didn't, we ended up winning our first game. So I don't know if it really mattered. But yeah, I like I threw this game so hard, and my my response to Bulba and like my team was like really bad. Like I, it was really stupid of me to say that. I say things sometimes that are really stupid. That was really stupid to say that the game doesn't matter. Like I'm I'm a pro player. Like every game should matter that I play, regardless of like what what's going on. Drow. I don't dislike playing Drow. Let's see. What are some games here? I played really well in this series. I actually carried us in this first game for sure. I made like a sick play. But I don't think like... I mean, no one really knows like what really goes on in Dota, but... Wait, did, did I make the sick play this game? Oh yeah, I had... I had like Refresher, like Refresher Shard. Like, so I, I bought a Refresher. I remember I did like some nasty play. Or was it versus... I think it was versus like actually... Was it the Kiev Major that I did the play? I remember I made some like really nasty play. On Sven, where I bought like refresher. Uh, Kiev major. DC newbie. I think it was first Thunderbirds, because it was first Resolution, I think. DC liquid. DC. Is it TNC? Maybe I'm making shit up. Yeah, I remember this. This was this was a nice series. We, this is a series where I feel like, I mean, I, I I played well versus Liquid here. I mean, I played Weaver. I mean, my my Weaver is I mean, my Weaver is like straight nasty. Like my Weaver's always been nasty. Like the, the people people know to not give me Weaver. People like pros would never give me Weaver. No one would ever give me Weaver. I'm too good at it. They're like you're you're asking to just lose. Where is it here? What happened in game two? Matoma Man played, li yeah, I remember this. Matoma Man played Spectre, and I played Venge. Like, I hated the strategy that we did, man. I, I'm fine with being a role player, but like, this is ridiculous. Like, I hated this shit. It was like, Abed would play uh, Shadow Fiend, and I like played Venge, and it was like some stupid like Chinese strat that people were doing. It was some stupid Chinese strat where like the Chinese would play like carry mid SF, and they would the one player would play like Venge and just like support him basically. It was really stupid. I hated it. It was just like some stupid role player shit. Uh, where the yeah. Anyways, here. Then th I think I played Spectre in this game. Yeah. I mean, Spectre is low skill hero. I don't care if I have like a bajillion kills. This hero is low skill as fuck. 
Back then, though, you did like the refresher build and stuff. Alright, nice little trip down memory lane. Do you really think you would have won TI4? I mean, I, I don't know. Arteezy kind of played bad in one of the series, but he was a good player. And he played, carried me in a lot of games, so can't blame him at all. I played bad. I played bad in one of the series and I got carried. So. Let me play carry, please. I've been queued for one hour. One hour queue. I don't know, mid? Off lane? Ten seconds remaining. Yeah, I have Dracus for it as well. By the way, you play against me. Very nice. Very nice. Then why do you want to play... I don't know, like, does carry absolve you from, like, laning or something? Patreon is a classic lane. I don't praying that this works out i feel like the thing about am versus slark is that it's like it's really good if you can like get off to a good start but if slark gets a free lane the thing, the thing about this matchup is that like you should like play the video game why are you crying for minute zero can you relax really stupid. There's really no point in it. Also, how will Necro be fat? Doesn't like Zeus lane fine versus Necro? What's the problem? Your magic ends here. I'm not crying. It's... Oh, you're crying. No, you're crying. No, no, there's no way around it. You're crying. Just stop crying. I'm sure you're an analytical genius, but just play the game. I just like to get. Also, I literally can't play mid. I, I can't play off lane either. I'm on my land. Guys, down with it. Be gone. It is in the bag. None shall hinder me. I mean, it, like, literally just trying to not get reported yes. here, and then can't play. I'll be reported. No one was gonna report you because you suck at mid. People are gonna report you because you're at saying the game's over at minute zero. That's what people are gonna report you for. Saying it's over, I'm asking what our game plan is. I assume you're gonna be farming, and we try and do not feed slug and. All right, just play the video game, my friend. It'll play itself out. Like nothing he's saying is helping, so. I don't know, bro, like, yeah, maybe the game's gonna be hard, like, I don't know, there's, like, no point in, like, being a negative Nancy about it, though, for minute zero. That shit's pretty bad. Onward. Magic shall not prevail. Out of my way. People love doing this, They, especially at Unranked, they love sitting here. Mm. Tell them the game plan is to win. Very nice. None shall hinder me. I go. Out of 
of my way. Alcazar wins easy on Zeus. Very nice job. Virtual insane. Yes. Oh my god, this pathing is so dog shit. Where is Yong? Yong, where are you, man? Yong, why are you not laning, bro? L, Yong, please, man. Oh my god, that's so bad. Urgh! Should just use on him. They have a. They don't have Gale, by the way. I'm not ready. I. I go. I don't know. We already messed up the lane, honestly. You can't, we have to play aggro level 1 as like the tree and the M. We just didn't. Vile. Lost all my HP. The path is clear. None shall hinder me. Unlucky. Will you commit and hold hands with me? Hmm. Thou art denied. I. Honestly, lane's going pretty well for being a 2v1. Or like, getting something out of the lane at least. Young, he tried to TP out um, when he got gone on, but then he got arrowed, so that was uh, not very good at the end of the day. So this pretty Get the hands. I'll cut it then, so then, bro. <laughs> I don't know. Show them big boy. Holy shit, the path is so bad though. Oh, the path- the, the trees are just so bad, man. The trees are so bad. I, I can't- I can't stand it actually, how bad they are. Uh, let's see. It's actually so annoying, bro. It's so fucking bad.
cut the tree? I mean, I, I didn't even see the tree, honestly. They're just like so unnecessary, I feel. You know? I just feel like it's like so unnecessary. Truth compels me. Did you find a war? Spawn of sorcery. Your middle tower is under attack. Shit gone. None shall hinder me. Your middle tower has She's fallen. alone, he's alone, he's alone. It's kind of funny how like little damage AM does when they have no mana. He's like, he's just, like hits like a noodle. Oh my God! How? Wait, what? Was he bottom? He just went like this, dude. I think he TP'd like this? What? Was he mid? Invis rune? I feel like he came from the trees, so I don't know. I can go one second. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like AM lanes are like really fragile. You have to be really careful about how you play them. Use Gale. Get the hands. Necrofoss bottom. Bottom again. I'm TPing, man. Try to kill the Venom when you solo. The true path. As thou will it. Right. <laughs> I go. What the world is this? Keep 
it's not time yet. None shall hinder me. Can you reflect counter? Can you reflect that? Radiant structures are fortified. Vile creatures. Your top tower is under attack. Your top tower has like a full spot of the I should have. Nah, I think I ran. I should have done this, blinked up, taken this. Dead regardless? No, 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 I wasn't. I mean, I don't think I had blink up, is the thing. If I had blink up and I blink up like this, I, ha I think it would create enough distance for me to take this and then use it and then I'm fine. But I don't think that. Bro, like, I do not care. I get it, you're a sniper and you want attention. I do not care though. I really don't. I'm sorry. Spawn of sorcery. I go. Be gone. Bro, it's 14 to 14. I don't know like what what your problem is. Just play the game, please. The path is clear. Like, I don't know, this game's like, this game could be way worse, man. Like, are we winning? Probably not, but like, this game could be like 10 times worse. He wants to just cry about it, for whatever reason. Out of my way. Yes. Truth compels me. I think he's going for kid. I'll strike me down. Now count thy costs. I bow thy knees. I light the darkness. Oh my god, I'm retarded. Dude, I did not look. I didn't see that he had that. I mean, he had the full man anyway. Dude, I, I didn't, I just didn't, I didn't even like bother to look yet. He was going for an illusion or I mean, we didn't see the rune, so. Oh, well. It worked out in the end. Be gone. 
good. Baited him? Exactly. I really shouldn't farm like this. Because I don't see I don't see high ground, right? Like Sork just pounces me and maybe I just die. Like a full stupid bottom. Necro's coming at you guys here. I got my item, it's okay. Oh, you went Echo. Dude, he's so poor on Slark. Holy shit. Drag is forward, one is lane? What the hell? Slark has like zero items. Happens so but don't go mid for once. The true Your middle talent is under attack. He has gem. He does. Classic AM contribution, boys. Ah, the old AM gameplay, boys. You gotta love it, eh? What do people do? Do they go they go the max mana burn, right? Or my high. I actually don't know what people do anymore. Can you guys tell me? I'm genuinely asking. Link CD of course? Really?
I mean, the nice thing about this game is they don't have like, a lot of catch outside of like Slark. And if Slark and like Garen aren't good players, then I don't know, probably just never get caught. Necro's keeping top. Is that a bot? Damn, you're right, the Blink CD feels so good. I've been going the right one every game. Dude, this feels 10 times better. Just like, you just like farm a camp and you basically have Blink ready. Dude, I thought Dracus Ford was the fucking, uh... Snapfire. I was like, damn, he's playing really well. He's the t he's the tusk. Oh god, dude. I was like, this snap is playing so well. I was like, wow, Draxfor is like really improved. It's not even him. Uh -oh. I'm not ready. This is definitely an Ags game for sure. Your top tower is under attack. Get the hands. The two shit. They have like such he shit heroes are, like killing the illusion. Magic be dashed. Ags Octarine, does anyone actually do that? What the hell sounds so bad? It's not time yet. Truth compels me. Bulldog does. Oh, okay. Onward. Oh my god, it's too good. Not no, yet. it's not good enough at all. Oh, wait, is it? None shall hinder me. I mean, I feel like Butterfly before is usually better, but... Be gone. I bow thy Slark is so poor. Not yet. Can go fight. I have eggs.
None shall hinder me. The enemy's middle attack has fallen. Five Very weird fight. I mean, he has like no. Oh, he has lots of mana actually. Yes. Radiance courier has been killed. Blessing. It is on thy head. Truth compels me. I'm not ready. I go. Use your Manta to push towers? Uh, I mean, I don't want to use my Manta to push because it's like pointless because I want to be there for the XP. If I use my Manta to push, I'm not there for the XP. You use Manta to push when you like, uh, just hit the tower and maybe cancel TP. Here, I don't want to sit here because I want to go to Roche. So I'm going to use my Manta to push the wave. It's not time yet. I go. Yes. You sight, that's good. Go play. I was like stunned for 10 years, this arrow. Whatever, go push. Enemies top back. 
Clark is so poor, man. He just has Ags, Echo. Dude, Octarine seems so stupid. Mines here. I didn't play that many games today though, I think. Uh, oddly enough. Oh. The games are so long today. Blame the Necro? I don't care. I have like two one hour games today. I didn't play many games, but I guess the games are long is the thing. At the end of the day, that's all that really matters, right? Play with Helena Hart. What in the world? Are you like her dad? Alright. That's gonna do it for me though. I'm tired as heck. I'm about to pass out. Alright. Oh. Alright. GG's my boy Young. Long day day. More games tomorrow. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I don't know. Good blog today, sir. Thank you, sir. Alright, I'm tired as heck. You two cheese? Okay, cupcake. Alright. Uh, did I command people? Alright. I'm done guys, uh, appreciate you watching, thanks for sticking around, all that good shit, usual stuff, uh, uh, yeah, but anyways, thanks for watching guys, see you young, see you chat, and have a good night, peace!